welcome back friends welcome to my channel so today we are going to discuss about another triangle called as triangle of auscultation before we explore this please subscribe to my channel so let us go forwards and try to see what is the triangle of auscultation so the triangle of auscultation which is present at the back of the trunk so strictly speaking it is present at the back of the trunk at the upper part exactly uh, behind the scapula behind the scapula let us see the boundaries of it so here you can identify the triangle of auscultation and these are the boundaries so what are the boundaries we can identify so here as you are looking it from the posterior aspect you can see the triangular area which is present posterior and medial to the scapula and lateral to this trapezius muscle and above the latissimus dorsi let us discuss about these boundaries in detail is coming to the boundaries of this triangle of auscultation so first boundary which we are going to see is the medial boundary so the medial boundary is formed by lateral border of trapezius muscle lateral border of trapezius muscle then the lateral boundary is formed by medial border of scapula medial border of scapula and apex is formed by the joining of medial and lateral boundaries medial and lateral boundaries here then the base is formed by the upper margin or superior border of the latissimus dorsi superior border of latissimus dorsi so between these three boundaries you can identify the triangular shape space called as triangle of auscultation so what is the importance of this triangle of auscultation let us discuss about it so here you can identify so what is present inside it the contents are contents are on both sides on both sides you can identify the seventh rib is present in the triangle of auscultation at the right side and the left side then so coming to the clinical anatomy clinical anatomy of it so i said the content is the seventh rib is present on either side then uh, the seventh rib the outer surface which is giving origin to the serratus anterior muscle fiber so serratus anterior muscle fibers are also present then inside inside the thoracic cage we can identify right and left lungs strictly speaking the lower lobes of the right and left lungs lower lobes of the right and left lungs uh, which they are present at the level of the triangle of auscultation so we can hear we can hear the wheezing sound we can hear the ronchi and rails of the inferior lobes of the lungs and at the left side and at the left side we can hear the as the cardiac orifice of the stomach is present at the left left side we can hear the splashing of the fluids splashing of the fluids in the esophageal obstruction esophageal obstruction yeah when you keep the steth when you keep the stethoscope uh, from the midline 6 cm lateral to that at the left side you can identify lower lobe of left lung lower lobe of left lung and six centimeters right side we can see we can hear the lower lobe of right lung sounds lower lobe of right lung sounds along with this along with this left lobe of a uh, left lobe left lower lobe of the lung we can also hear we can also hear the splashing of the liquids if if the esophagus esophagus got obstructed esophagus got obstructed when you ask the patient to take the water we can hear the splashing of the liquid sound okay so that is the importance of the triangle of auscultation so these sounds we can hear only by the help of stethoscope only by the help of stethoscope so in this picture you can see there is a transverse section at the level of triangle of auscultation try to observe from posterior to anterior so here you can see this green color one showing the trapezius muscle trapezius muscle and below that you can identify below that you can identify the seventh rib as uh, seventh rib outer surface it is giving uh, origin to the serratus anterior muscle fibers and inside we can identify the left lung inferior lobe or lower lobe okay left lung inferior lobe or lower lobe which is present at this level okay so this is pr uh, present at the right and left sides and along with that at the left side you can identify the cardiac orifice of the stomach cardiac orifice of the stomach that we have to remember thank you dear students with a new class we are going to meet you again thank you